Hello and welcome to JustComparecars.com. My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2018 67 plate Nissan Navara Tecna. It's 2.3 DCI, 190 brake horsepower, it's a manual gearbox, 74,000 miles and it's got full Nissan service history. So we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be popular because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here in person. We'll look at all the panels individually. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres. I'll point out any, any marks, scratches or dents and we'll obviously look at the tread depth as well. Uh, once we've done that, we'll have a look in the back, have a look inside the vehicle, look at the functionality, look at the seats. I'll even tell you what it smells like. And once we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet and then we'll have a look under the engine, inside the engine bay, and then obviously underneath the chassis afterwards. Obviously, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to do finance, an application takes five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within about an hour. Right, let's start with the bonnet and we'll go from there. I, I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. Uh, the, dark, the skies are looking a little bit dark. This list literally just arrived today. Um, so it's all good. Right, so, bonnet. Is in great condition. There's no obvious signs of damage or dints. There's no, there's no marks. A couple of little tiny, and I mean tiny, stone chips. Do they even show up there? There's a couple there, but nothing that you'd notice out of the normal. Driver side headlight is clean. There's no damage. Front grille the same, and the passenger light the same. Front bumper is in good condition there are a couple of little and i mean little stone chips i mean considering the price on this i think this is probably the cheapest one i've seen this year and certainly part of last year um so it's a considering what it is like it's a bargain take my word on it it's a little bit of a oh, it's not so it's gone <laughs> Right, so, passenger side front wheel and tyre, it's a Continental tyre, um, I'd guess there's about 4mm tread. Uh, there's nothing I can see on the windscreen, there's no chips or cracks. I've actually driven this one as well, it drives really well. Um, it's always nice to give a bit of input on that, it, there's no issues with it, it drives really well. Clutch is decent, um, nice to drive. The odd ice drive anyway. So, down the passenger side. And hopefully as you can see, it's in good condition, there's no obvious damage. Roof looks good, there's no damage on there either. Everything looks nice and clean. Onto the rear quarter. Obviously this vehicle's 2018, so it is a ULES vehicle or ultra low emission zone compliant. So it's got add blue. Uh, this generally means that if you live in a ULES area or if you go into a ULES area on a regular basis where there's a congestion charge, this should get you underneath that. Obviously check that at the time because obviously I can't guarantee it. Um, rear wheel and tire, continental tire again. Wheels in good condition, probably about the same sort of tread. About four mil-ish. Right, so, passenger side rear light is in good condition. This part here is the bit that's susceptible, and you can see there's no damage at all. Clear, lenses are nice and clear, and it's in good nick. Rear bumper, we have got a little bit of a bing, ding, on uh, the chrome part. Do see that quite a lot, to be honest with you. Not sure why, but <laughs> it's one of those things. It has got parking sensors, and they do work. Right, so, tailgate is in good condition and there's no obvious dents or damage there is a little mark here i can't actually feel it on my finger right so let me just open this it's got a roll and lock on it it's in decent condition in the back 
nice and clean and there's no damage on the plastic which suggests it's not had a hard life the actual roll lock itself is in good condition and as you can see it rolls I mean you know what's coming <laughs> it doesn't lock now <laughs> there we go oh that's right that door has to be being daft so there you go and it does lock <laughs> got there in the end right so rear tail light driver's side good condition again there's no damage on it it's nice and clean it has got a tow bar these will tow three and a half ton it's got the late style electrics let's get down the driver's side rear quarter And it's in good condition as you can see and there's no obvious damage driver side rear wheel and tire wheels well, in good condition it's a continental tire this side looks like it's almost new nine ten mil tread ish so Everything looks all good on there. So let's go down the driver's side again. Again, I'm looking for any marks, scratches or dents and I can't see much at all, to be honest with you. But hopefully you can see from that, there aren't any dents and there's certainly no marks or scratches that are obvious. Onto the front wing. And again, it's in nice condition. Like I say, it's really clean for the money. So, final wheel. It's a full set of Continentals all around. Um, wheel's in good condition. And there's plenty of tread on the tyre. Right, so let's have a look inside. Now, as long as you've got your key in your pocket, in your wallet, in your handbag, whatever, you can press that button. It will beep at me because the key's inside, but at the minute, um, that will lock it and also unlock it when you have the key with you. Um, driver's door card is in good clean condition there's no damage four electric windows folding mirrors and mirror control there the driver's seat is fully electric hopefully as you can see that so it goes forwards and backwards you can bring the front part up or you can bring the base up and down and then the backrest will go forwards and backwards as well now also if you watch this part here, um, if you press this button, you can actually pump that up. As you can see that moving. So if you suffer with a bad back, lower bad back, it just gives you a level of manoeuvrability, which means that you can have a, a comfortable seating position. So, um, parking assist, stability control, stop start, and then just your normal stuff. Right, let me climb in. So, um, keys, there are two keys and then one key for the roll and lock. Okay, so as you can see, it fires into action straight away and there's no warning lights on the dashboard, everything looks nice. As I said before, yeah, it does drive nice as well. Um, on the steering wheel, you've got a multi-function steering wheel to the right hand side is your cruise control. Let's switch that off for a second. Cruise control and then to the left hand side is your media centre control. Bottom half of the uh, right hand side is voice command and also you can answer your phone and hang up from there as well. But I need to show you the media centre down to start it back up, sorry about that. Right, so um, media centre itself, uh, navigation screen is really good. I like the fact that you can pinch and squeeze. So if you're used to using your phone maps, you can do it the same way. What I also like about the navigation on the Navara compared to, uh, let's say, Ranger. Um, if you can't find on the map using the postcode, what you can do is use the actual map. And what you can do is you can let's say, I want to go here, press and hold, and it will give you a map. And then you can actually uh, direct yourself right to it, as you can see. So let's get back. Um, the other things you've got on here, you've got once your phone's plugged in, you know, Facebook, Google, TripAdvisor, many other things as well not dissimilar to Apple CarPlay. There's a radio. So you've got DAB, you get a pre-populated DAB list here. 
Um, you've also got AM, FM, of course, um, CD player, and also an SD card slot. It's one thing worth noticing, if you are going to use your own SD card for music, for instance, you will lose the ability to have the maps on, because all the maps on your navigation on your SD card slot. Reversing camera. Um, again, arguably one of the best reversing cameras you can get on a, on a truck. Um, I like the fact that on the left-hand side, I know it's a bit gimmicky, but obviously when you're parking up against a wall, that's quite handy. But also when you're reversing, I like the fact that if you press the camera button again, it gives you the left-hand view. So obviously you're not going to damage your wheels, you're not going to knock a kid over, for instance, things like that. So, press camera again, into forward gears, and it gives you the forward view on the right-hand side as well, which is pretty cool. Um, passenger seat is in good condition. The bolsters are really nice and firm. All the material's nice and clean. I kind of think, to be honest with you, it's not been sat in very often at all. Obviously, these vehicles are used a lot uh, for director's vehicles because of what they are, the VAT status, tax status, etc. It's got a switchable four-wheel drive, hill descent, and you can lock and unlock the vehicle from here, and it does work, as you can hear. Um, dual zone climate control with air conditioning. Um, as I say, all the dashboard's nice and clean. Um, it's got uh, cup holders in the middle with heated seats, high and low, they do work six-speed manual gearbox um according to nissan in excess of 40 miles per gallon and um, to be honest with you they do achieve it they do achieve it they're, they're, they're really good on that sense um decent arm size armrest nice level for me anyway and um, you can obviously move your seats about it's got a decent size um amount of space in there and there is a 12 volt socket in there as well let's just switch that off the bonnet um, the driver's seat itself again the bolsters are really nice and firm as you can see the material is really nice and clean and i can tell you it's comfortable to sit in in the back this is getting a little bit dark now um, again the door cards are really clean and as i said in the front it, it doesn't look like the back seats have been sat in they feel like new really nice and firm and very very clean um, under here is your toolkits Oops. Excuse me. There you go. Toolkits are under there. And they are, it's all there, so you needn't worry about that. You can obviously lift them up if you wanted to as well, so they will stay in place. In the rear, door cards in good condition. As are the seats. There is a little bit of a rub mark on that one there. Do see that quite a lot, to be honest with you. Usually on the driver's side, to be fair. And then the passenger side. And again, everything looks nice and clean. And as you can see, the seats are all there as well. All there. All clean. Give my words out. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. So, under the bonnet. Reminds you, it's got full Nissan service history. It's also got the remaining amount of five years or 100,000 miles from Nissan manufacturer's warranty. Goes without saying, it's been looked after. All the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. And as you can see, it's very, very clean under there. There's no signs of any oily residue around the turbo. There's no signs of any historic oil leaks around the block. And it's all in great condition. It has got a Halfords battery on, which is unusual because actually Nissan would have replaced that under the manufacturer's warranty from new, if they'd have asked. So yeah, if your battery goes flat, take it to Nissan. Not that one then. Right, so yeah, everything looks good. Let's have a quick look underneath. I'll try not to take much more of your time up. So everything looks nice and dry under there. There's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything looks nice and smart. Spare wheel is full size and it's got a decent amount of tread. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person, maybe a little bit more. Obviously, if you've got any questions or if you want to see anything else in a bit more detail, please give me a shout. I'd be more than happy to do it for you, no problems at all. So thanks for watching and most importantly, stay safe. Bye-bye.